Let's get it. Hop off a 16 passenger, this a G5, no this Hi everyone, my name is Badar Hassani. I'm music video editor and director. And today I'm going to break down how to create this effect using After Effects. The original footage comes from the music video La Mulaga, which I directed and edited back in 2021 for the rapper Genius. You can check out the full music video using the link in the description below. So let's start it. First, drag your footage into the composition. Then I'll use the rotoscope tool to isolate the subject, in this case the rapper or genius. Next I'll duplicate the main layer and adjust the feather and shift edge settings in the rotoscope effects panel. Hit space to preview. If it's not perfect, stop and adjust manually to help after effects track the subject accurately. We'll separate the wrapper from the background. Duplicate the layer again and click invert foreground background. Once you're done, click freeze. As you can see, the rotoscope around the wrapper is looking good. Now we'll let After Effects generate the background. Go to Window and search for Content Aware Fill. This window will pop up, change it to Surface and hit Generate Fill Layer. Save the file in a folder and wait a bit for After Effects to process. Now drag the background layer between the main background and the rapper's rotoscope mask. Here's the result. Pretty awesome, right? Click Freeze again on the wrapper layer. Now we can animate the subject. Drop the transform effect onto the wrapper mask layer. In the effects panel, search for transform and set a keyframe at the point where you want the animation to start by clicking the stopwatch. Then adjust the position and scale for the next keyframe. Feel free to tweak the settings, be creative with it. Once done, convert all the keyframes to easy ease using the keyframe assistant. Enable motion blur, then duplicate the wrapper layer again. This time, search for echo and apply it to the first wrapper layer. I'll adjust the echo settings a bit here. You can see the effects starting to come together. I'm still tweaking the settings, deleting some keyframes to make it smoother and faster. I've added several keyframes to show you how the effect works, but I prefer to speed it up. So here's my final touch, I'll remove some keyframes and adjust their timing. Then, I'll apply motion blur to the same layer. And here's the final result, this makes the explanation clearer and flows more smoothly. Thank you for watching, please click the like button and consider subscribing as it really helps out the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments below.